All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and I'm coming with another Brady and Gold report. Another major update for the new name and logo prospects. Potential names have been eliminated. I mean, flat out, these will not be the new names. There's still hope for a name that includes wolves, and we're gonna dive into all of that, but before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately and every time I release an informative video just like this one, every time I schedule a live stream, every time I start up a live stream. Definitely make sure you hit the bell next to the subscription button and also check out the rest of the channel. All of my videos are organized in playlists and I even have a comedy playlist for all of my funny videos. So make sure you go check out the rest of the channel and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get it. All right, so first name that was immediately eliminated today, as in Monday, July 12th, 2021, was the Washington Warriors. And if you haven't heard yet, if you haven't seen my previous video talking about it a couple of days ago, we will know the new name, the new logo, the new everything mascot or whatever by early 2022. So before the 2022 season, but we have to continue the 2021 season as the Washington football team whether you like it or not. Also, Jason Wright, the team president, confirmed that the colors will stay burgundy and gold. But going from there, as of Monday, Jason Wright said that the Warriors is not going to be the new name. He said, quote, I want to address a name that has emerged amongst our fan base, Warriors. He said that although on its face the name might appear harmless, feedback from across communities we engaged clearly revealed deep-seated discomfort around warriors because it's too closely aligned with native american themes and that's the general theme for all of the names that were eliminated today he said that there will be no linkage to any native american imagery and apparently through surveys with certain groups of people it was determined that warriors was too close and that's pretty crazy too because I know Warriors was like the leading candidate for a while because that was one of the names Dan Snyder likes. And Dan Snyder is the owner of the team, now the full owner, along with some of his family, but there are no other outside minority owners owning the team. So Dan Snyder can do whatever he wants now. It's completely his team. And the Warriors was always his favorite name reportedly. And to know that that name is cut out shows that Dan Snyder is really taking a step back. He's not micromanaging. He's not calling in picks from his yacht. He's not being stubborn. It's not his way or the highway anymore. He's letting guys that know how to do their job better than he would know how to. Guys that have strong expertise in certain areas handle their parts of the organization. Ron Rivera has complete control over the roster, over the coaching staff. Jason Wright seems to have a lot of control over what the organization does on the business side, on the branding side and everything like that. So again, whether you like Warriors or not, I'm one of those people that don't like it. But even if you do like Warriors, the fact that that name was one of Dan Snyder's favorites, if not his very favorite, the primary one that he wanted the most. And the fact that that's eliminated shows that Dan Snyder is not out here meddling like the way he used to in one of the main reasons why we've been such a bad terribly ran franchise on and off the field for the past 20 plus years jason wright went on to say embracing such potentially native adjacent iconography and imagery will contradict the very work the team has set out to do efforts that should be reflected in his new name wright says so basically the team will choose an identity that unequivocally departs from any use of or approximate linkage to Native American imagery, meaning Warriors is officially done. It's eliminated, it is off the table. And he went into further detail, breaking down as to how he reached this conclusion as far as staying as far away from any Native American imagery or likeness at all. He basically cited the team's inclusive process to listen to all voices with a particular emphasis to engaging, listening, and learning from Native American leaders and individuals throughout the country. So reportedly, they're talking to Native Americans and these are the results that they came out with. He said that process was not just the simple, easy to categorize 
who's for or who's against polling of our old name but research revealing the psychological effects of native american team names on american indian and alaska native youth and this is always going to be a gray area there's always going to be people from each segment or demographic that feels both ways against it or for it there's a lot of native americans out there that love having a team with a name that represents them and then there's also another side that hate it jason wright also said in some this engagement demonstrated to us a consensus that moving forward with no ties to Native American imagery is the right path. I am personally and deeply grateful for the Native American community leaders who engaged with us, sharing painful, raw, and real stories that persist to this day. The stories affirmed our decision to move in a new direction in the creation of our new name and identity, and we are proudly forging ahead in this journey with a promise to our community. A promise to continue to be inclusive in our process and collaborative with our fans. So anybody that had any slither of hope that the name Redskins will return, it's definitely out of the question. I mean, people that were even a part of the fan ambassador program was asked not to wear anything with the Redskins name or logo on any of their clothing or memorabilia. They're completely detaching from it, completely. Also, for those of y'all who may think that, well, if Warriors is gone, if Redskins will not make a comeback, then Washington football team has to be next up but actually that's pretty much good as gone as well because there's no reason you're gonna keep saying you know one more season Washington football team and to plan out this big announcement just for it to be the same thing as already been for two previous years so that's out the window as well Washington football team Warriors Redskins anything with the likeness to Native American imagery all out of the question I'm not here to debate whether it's right or wrong just giving you the facts as to what this team should look and sound like moving forward I know some people want to at least have a name that starts with R so you can still say HTTR and potentially something that helps fit the war chant and everything but I wouldn't be too sure about that I'm pretty sure that's not one of Jason Wright's priorities as far as creating a new name keeping the HTTR I've grown so accustomed to just calling them the burgundy and gold no matter what the next name is the new identity is I'm probably still just gonna call them burgundy and gold unless it's something I really love like something with wolves and wolves can even kind of be in question because wolves are confirmed to be a cherished animal and a symbol for a lot of things amongst many Native Americans maybe not all of them but some and Jason Wright said that anything adjacent to Native American imagery will not make the cut he said that context matters there's a slippery slope with certain things so wolves may not be involved but i think like wolves is just something a lot of people like you can attach it to native american imagery but i feel like it's something that's just so general it's definitely more general in my opinion than warriors i mean i know warriors you can do a lot of different type of warriors like roman and things like that but i've heard warriors having a sort of negative connotation towards native americans before like savages and like the spears and things like that wolves don't come with any negative connotation as far as attachment to native americans but even though in my opinion it still may not be that close to where it's out of the question along with warriors and these other names who knows jason wright dan snyder and all of the people over there in the washington front office may not take any chances and just go completely far away maybe do something like hogs or something or just like a completely different like not even an animal like an object or a title the the washington freedom fighters or something you know it may just to be on the safe side be something completely away from it again i don't feel like wolves is close enough to where it should be grouped in with warriors and these other names but who knows they may not play about it and take any chances at all with it because again, warriors, you know, if you do it with a certain caricature, there's always that direct link that can be made, even if it's reaching a little at times. But wolves is, is a super reach in my opinion. I feel like it's not offensive to like the same things as Native Americans, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Again, I'm holding out hope for wolves because I would love it for the stadium to be nicknamed the Den when teams are third and long or fourth down or in the red zone or whatever the stadium can play howling noises it's so many ways to market it even if we have like a wolf logo of some sort like some angry looking wolf 
the helmets could have like scratch marks on them rather than those alabama numbers that we had last year which weren't that bad but i would love some claw scratches on the side of the helmet something like that i mean it's just so many ways you can market it and have fun with it so many different nicknames i just scratched the surface with some of the ideas i just gave out but it can get way deeper than that by the way man i just wanted to report that to y'all that's the end of this video please like this video if you liked it if you learned anything i'm pretty sure you learned something so you gotta leave a like Please get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video. What do you hope the new name will be? Are you upset that Warriors and Redskins are out of the question? Do you feel like Wolves is out of the question? Definitely, like I said in the intro, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell next to the subscription button. And as always, man, I appreciate all of the support, man. Shouts out to everybody that donates to the channel. Shouts out to everybody that's a sponsor, especially my Pro Bowl sponsors, who named this he's scrolling on the screen right now. And a special shout out to my one All Pro sponsor, Jaden. Man, I really appreciate all y'all, man. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.